So, where did it all begin? <laughs> the very first time that Ava and I came into contact with each other was actually at freshman orientation in May 2014. Uh, we are in our respective school groups. I was in the, with the School of Arts people and he is the School of Engineering and he walked up to me. Yeah, he is a nerd. <laughs> he walked up to me, or walked up behind me and asked me if I played tennis because the back of my shirt had a um, tennis racket logo on it from a local tennis tournament. And I said yes and then he told me that he was going to be trying to be a walk-on for the team and that he played at Leftwich. And so in my brain I'm thinking, uh, this kid's a playing at Leftwich is a walk-on at CBU. He can't be good. Because <laughs> I played at the racket club, which is much more prestigious. Um, and then I, we didn't, oh, and the guy. Tell him about the guy. The other people in the engineering group made fun of me when I went back. Because he was like, he was like, so, so your pickup line was, so do you play tennis? best pickup line ever and he gave me crap for, that for the whole year. We talked about going up to him when we see him on campus and be like, hey look, <laughs> show, show him the ring. <laughs> yeah, you, you said he's like apparently seen as like holding hands on campus. So oh yeah, oh yeah, we make it, a, I make it a point to, you know. Um, and then we, we didn't see each other anymore because, you know, we're on opposite ends of the spectrum for uh, majors and what whatnot. And then even though we were on the team, the, te the tennis team at the same time, we didn't really do anything like as a team so the first time I really noticed him was on our trip to Pensacola on the bus ride when he was playing um, the awesome mixtape from Guardians of the Galaxy specifically the Pina Colada song over and over again and yeah and then um, and then he would point out random things like on the side of the road like cows or billboards and stuff and, and I remember thinking like it's weird because I totally noticed those things too and, and all that stuff Still do. Still do. Um, and then on that trip, we had a day at the beach, and he, Abel, um, when our friend Daniel and I all hung out together that day, so we got to know each other a little more, and that's where you got my phone number. And the first, didn't even have to ask for it. Didn't even have to ask for it. The first text message I sent him was quack. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> and then on the way back from that bus ride, it was like an eight hour bus ride, and in the final two hours I got into a theological discussion with Daniel about predestination, and then Abel got involved, and another teammate got involved. Um, and at that, when we finally arrived back on campus, he came around, but he followed me to the back of the bus to get our stuff, and yeah, he was sorry, like, sorry. Yeah, what, and what did you say? He said to me, I said, I said, Hey, I really, I really enjoyed hearing you talk, and I really like your, I really like your perspective on things, um, those those things about you know, the Bible and theology in general. But I really love to get to hear about it more. Um, I kind of left it there. But but another thing that um, we didn't mention yet was that specifically at one point in the conversation, she was just getting really excited. She goes, "Ah, oh, I love talking about this stuff," or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's that's the moment that I knew that you know I wanted I wanted to do something about it, <laughs> make something happen, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, when is the uh, wedding date? May nineteenth, twenty eighteen. How did you propose to Lauren? Well, I've been planning this for some time, um, and I wanted to like make a whole day out of it, and do it on a Saturday, and like you know spend the whole day together because um, we kind of knew what range of dates it would fall on so it wasn't really a huge surprise for her um, but I wanted to make it to where I wanted to make it to where like she was so blown away by all the things that I planned you know how awesome I am that she didn't really think about how much of a surprise or not surprise it was um, just kind of overwhelm her with showing her like how much I love her and show, much, show her how much like she's loved by her friends and our friends um, so the plan was to kind of like stage our friends at different points throughout the day and just, you know, do really meaningful things and walk through our relationship at different points. It was a great yawn. Um, but we didn't really get to do that on Saturday because my sister was actually getting married. So <laughs> there's a whole, the whole, said, whole different story there. So I did it the day after her wedding <laughs> on a Sunday. But it worked out. Um, we went to breakfast at Cracker Barrel. And then we went to uh, Bellevue Baptist Church with her family. So we just got kind of got to, to enjoy that together. Um, 
and her family. And then we went to um, we didn't we yeah we didn't do lunch. We went straight to the movie where we watched um, Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Uh, and I, that was the first surprise because I had her one of her best friends and her Beyonce, Beyonce yeah Beyonce, Beyonce at the time um, meet us there as kind of a surprise uh, and she she totally saw it coming from like a mile away but um, it was it was great nonetheless and then after that we we went to Target uh, this is about the middle of the day um, we went to Target and we got we got Starbucks and this is where I had staged the second group of my friends. Um, they were doing kind of like a Bible study together, um, and she just thought it, we we were like, oh, what a what a great coincidence that they're just here while while we're here. So we kind of talked with them for a little bit, and then um, and then we you know we got Starbucks, and I told her I needed to buy like a charger from the back of the store, like the electronic section section. So I took her to the back there, and then that's where I had staged another another group of our friends um, to surprise us and, and they really did surprise us they, yeah. just, they came out of nowhere <laughs> yeah one of them one of them literally walked around the corner like hey guys and he had like a basket and everything he was actually and grocery so shopping he was actually shopping so i had no idea until about like halfway through or like halfway through our meeting like with them that i was like oh my wife they're here on purpose so like it wasn't her fun the sister was there they were we left Target and uh, and we drove to back to Bellevue since we had gone there for church earlier. Um, but Bellevue is actually the place that I asked her to, to start dating uh, or to start our relationship, whatever you, whatever you call it. Um, so I wanted to do it in the courtyard, but they they didn't let me do it in the courtyard because during the time there was a, a another service going on, so they didn't want to have official events in the campus during the time of the service. So I had to do it in the court or in the Pavilion, which is like behind the campus, uh, but it worked out. So uh, I had one of my friends go way at the kind of towards the start of the day and start setting up um, like teacup candles, um, string lights all around. I had ordered some, some really cute ones, and he had a big chalkboard for some odd reason that I, I wrote like in the most decent handwriting that I could muster in little cursive. I had to type it out on Microsoft Word and pick a font that I thought that I thought was pretty and then, then trace it pretty much. I wrote um, something that we always say to each other um, for uh, always and forever no matter what. Um, but we put that out and he got some, some floodlights and you know obviously Eric Mueller was there taking pictures and her sister and the two friends that saw the movie with us. Um, so I, I walked her back there after parking and got down on one knee and she started crying and continued to cry for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone was worried because as I tried to walk her out to the front of the pavilion, which is where my friend had laid out some roses, um, <laughs> she wouldn't come with me because <laughs> she was crying. She needed a second, but everyone was like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> I asked her, she didn't even say no, or she didn't just say yes, she just kind of kept crying and I, I just kind of sat there with the ring like you gotta say something. Like, I, I literally said this is stupid. That was my, my first word. <laughs> and I was like you have to say yes before I can put the ring on. <laughs> and then you like stood up and put it on. And I'm... The rest is history.